Welcome back to the channel. Today's another first waffle fries in the air fryer. Join me. All right, so today, as I said, it's another first. We are going to have some waffle cut French fried potatoes. Great value, so Walmart brand in the air fryer. I'm still using my air fryer because I have not received my credit or the box to send it back. So we're still gonna use it. Putting a bit of oil, well, a bit of uh, spray so they don't stick. And then, then open them up. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. I wonder big. Let's just get the pour these out a little more. There's another one. Just pull them in a little bit. Now I'm gonna put these in for 10 minutes at 400. Uh, and that's as per my actual instructions on the insignia for uh, french fries. Never had, uh, never made waffle cut french fries at home before in any way, so. No. And we always enjoy them when we go to restaurants, so. Shout out to Chick-fil-A. They should be good, yeah. Chick-fil-A has some very good ones. They could be a little crispier. Uh, and that's where the air fryer comes in because they will be crispy because the air fryer. So, they're going in for 10 minutes at 400. See you guys in five minutes to check out the progress. All right, so it's been five minutes. As you can see, my machine is smoking. Now, I'm not sure if that's good or not. That's supposed to happen, but it does smoke. And look, it's smoking from the spot that kind of looks like it's all bumpy. But uh, yeah, so we're still waiting for our credit from uh, Best Buy to return this. Let's see how the fries are looking. So they're smelling good and they're looking good, but they're definitely not done yet. So we're gonna put them back in for five more minutes. See you guys in five minutes. So I lowered these down to 375 and put them up another three minutes because they're getting nice looking, but they're not crispy yet. So I don't wanna burn them. So I lowered it and added a little more time. So. We'll see how that goes, because they look good, but they're not crispy yet. So, so these waffle fries have been in for about 13 minutes. Mm, eight of those minutes at 400, and the rest are at uh, 375. As you can see, they're starting to get a little burnt. I like them like that. If you don't, then leave them at 375 the whole time for about 13 minutes. Or actually, maybe 13 to 15 minutes. Let's uh, pick one and take one and see. I don't think you can go wrong with that one. That one looks very crispy. Let me take a look. Oh, it's nice. Let's see if they... Oh, crispy. And what about cracking it open? Oh, drop it. Yeah, it's crispy. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. Good. But is it burnt? That's the question. Let's see. Taste it. Let's see if... I can make that crunch. Chin chin. Chin chin. Chin chin. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Really yummy. Just like french fries. Like um, po uh, potato chips. Mmm. Oh. Oh, these are really good. Mmm. They literally... <clears throat> that's with no salt on them. They literally <laughs> taste like they've been deep fried. Yeah. No, well, especially the dark one. Look, mm -hmm. at the, look at this one right here. Really good. That one's going to be good. So, like I said, if you don't like them this dark, if you're going to write me and tell me they're burnt. They're not. Um, cook them at 375 for about 13 to 15 minutes. If not, cook them the way I did at 400 for about 10 minutes, 11 minutes, and they will come out looking exactly like this. Um, so, not too bad for a generic brand. It's from Walmart. Uh, 
again, air fryer wins over deep frying. deep frying. It's healthier, quicker, and better for you. We all know that. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care.